Greetings, consciousness. Welcome back. And so in this podcast, we are going to take a verse from First Kings, the sixth chapter and the eighth verse. Now you can open that up. But first, you must look at the King James Version. Only the King James Version will do for this particular podcast. Now, when you're looking at the artwork for this podcast, first we have the mask of Tutankhamun from ancient Kemet, which is really gold. Now, on the forehead, We have the falcon, the bird. Now all of you who have now attained incredible amount of knowledge, you know in Kemetism what a falcon represents. Because we are talking about King of Kings, the Most High, which is Heru or Horus, the sun. Next to the bird, we have the serpent, which is like a cobra, on the forehead. These intelligent people, whom call themselves, or whom they called, serpents, because they were wise people, knew exactly what they were doing by depicting these things on their forehead. Because these were ascended masters. The rising Kundalini energy on the forehead. Next to this picture, you have the Kabbalah tree of life. With the building blocks. These I told you yesterday in the previous podcast. Are also that which you were told in Exodus as... The ten plagues. This is the light coming down into the flesh. And so they became the ten plagues of Egypt. Egypt meaning your flesh. And so if you are going up, you can see the serpent ascending upwards. And the head of the serpent is exactly where the ancient Kemites placed the serpent on your forehead. Now, in the book of Kings, 1 Kings 6 and 8, they talk about Solomon's temple. And it said, they went upstairs using a winding stairs. If you've never seen a winding stairs before, that is picture number three. That's the black stairs winding stairs which looks like a serpent all these things are talking about the inner workings of man and so if you go into buddhism and they talk about kundalini energy and all this type of stuff in christianity they will make it seem like these ancients or these other religions are some demons religions but right there in the bible these things are buried in there. It's just that the preachers are asleep. Everything is about you. You are the temple. And you build a temple by raising the serpent within. And so in Exodus, When you are told in the Bible, just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. And then you are told, for no one has ever been to heaven except the one who came from heaven. This is the incarnation of the light within man that must be raised upwards and so even physically when you lose your body 
many people attend your funeral and they may think they have buried you in the earth but the one they bury is just your garment because the light within you will rise up again in the story of moses you were told the israelites were bitten by serpents and they were dying and god said moses should build a serpent on a cross and anyone who looked up to this cross or the serpent this bronze serpent will live because the descendant serpent is what's killing the human race we are all down here chasing smartphones instagram in a way shaking our behind that is the way we die but when we raise a serpent we have life eternal we do away with the illusion there was never a man in the wilderness anywhere outside of yourself lifting a bronze serpent these are all the inner workings of man that is why the serpent of Moses swallowed the serpent of Pharaoh's. Because Pharaoh's serpent represents the egoic activities of the flesh. I'm going to say that again. Pharaoh's serpent represents the egoic activities of the flesh. When we are loving the dream, the illusion... And so Moses' cobra swallowed up Pharaoh's serpents because the awakened man can easily see through the illusion. They can live according to their higher self and see that the reality as we know it is just a dream. That's all these stories are. Therefore, knowledge getting is a wonderful thing because it makes you value yourself more than you ever thought. Because inside of you is buried a priceless jewel that is eternal. But I know, I know, you are not going to hear these things on international news so many people do not know these things and of course those who are in charge of you in your churches do not have a clue and so christendom is in a mess if you go into buddhism they tell you you are the self you are the self Inside of you dwells the supreme. This is just a dream. And so I hope when you look at these images of the ancient Kemites and the Kabbalah tree of life, you will see that which was spoken of in 1 Kings, the 6th chapter and 8th verse, about Solomon's temple is about yourself. And in a previous podcast, I told you there is no temple that is built in silence except you in your meditation. That is the construction of the temple in silence. Raising the Kundalini energy, the serpent, the fiery serpent within and so you are told, unless you are born from above, you cannot enter the kingdom. The ancients, Kemites, they told you the kingdom is within. And so to be born from above is to raise the Kundalini energy upwards, like the ancient Kemites with a serpent and a falcon on your forehead. On the Kabbalah tree of life, you can also see the serpent is exactly above around the crown of the head and so with all this said 
I hope this knowledge has unlocked your mind to now receive supreme wisdom. You can now channel this wisdom from above because you are awake. You are no longer under illusion. And hopefully, if you don't hear from me during the Christmas period, I will see you in June 2022. Do take care of yourselves. Stay awake. Peace.